All right. As many of you know, if you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, links below. Shame on you for not following me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most active. I recently picked up my very first PC Engine. I got the Core cool Graphics 2. I also got the Super CD-ROM attachment that went with it. So I'm all set to go. And I gotta tell you, I love all these games. Just look at all these games. The only problem is there's so many of them and so many more that I can't really afford. I wish there was a way that I could put all these games on one thing and just carry that around because that would make this thing right here so much more portable. If only there is a way. And there is a way. We've got the Turbo Everdrive, and this little darling right here is awesome. It gives you access to the entire library of American games, plus the Japanese games. You can put them all on an SD card, and it's really, really simple. Not only that, you can do your fan translations, you can do different ROM hacks, you can do NES on Turbo Graphics. The, the possibilities are unlimited with this thing, and I've got to show you some of the cool stuff. So throwing a few ROMs on there would have been no big deal at all, but someone by the name of Smoke Monsters on the Emu Paradise forums really went through a lot of trouble to organize and make sure that all the ROMs on there would be top quality. And I gotta tell you, I really appreciate his hard work because this has made this thing so organized and perfect. So right here is the American version of Bomberman. As you can see, it's bright, it's colorful, it's pretty, it's just like Bomberman always is. And then we've also got Bonk 3. I want you to pay attention to the load time. Watch this, it's less than a second. Boom, boom, there it is. I'm really, really impressed with how quick this chip really goes from start to finish loading these games. It's amazing. But let's face it, if you're buying one of these, you're not buying it to play Bonk and you're not buying it to play Bomberman. So let's go to Game Series and Collections, and uh, we'll really get into the meat and potatoes. Look at all of these shooters. Every shooter that came out on a Hue card in Japan or the USA is right here at your fingertips, and this is really the reason I wanted to play it, because so many of these shooters are way out of my price range. I'll never be able to afford them. So thanks to the Turbo Everdrive, and some wonderful pirates along the way. Games like Coriune and Magical Chase, these holy grail games that are just ridiculously overpriced, they're all at the touch of my fingers now. I can finally experience them on real hardware, and that's wonderful. So the question is, do you want to have to carry all of this around? Or would you just rather have one card when you take it with you? For me, I'd rather just have the one card. So, thanks for watching, guys. I do believe this one's worth it, especially at the cheap price. I'll see you later. Bye.